Hey YouTube, this is Jake with the Waves and Wheels. This is my 1991 Ford E150 Stealth Conversion Van. I'm doing this conversion van build as a live-in van, building it just the way I want to live in a van, be able to live stealthily wherever I park in a neighborhood or something. So taking a look at the floor layout that I've chosen and how, to, how I decided where to have bed if I'm sleeping across the van or lengthwise. And then we'll dive into putting in the floor. So check it out, let's see how it goes. So here's my dilemma. <clears throat> this is such a small van, I wanna take out this seat. I wanna just eliminate the passenger seat. But if I do, I can't build anything permanent because you have to be able to get the engine cover off. Maybe I could, I could modify that, cut it in half or something like that. We've got the van stripped out pretty well on the floor side panels are out I'm gonna keep that side panel and off the doors this thing is looking good we got the, the back there was a seat back here we got that out they will take care of the ceiling later when I have some materials and I've got a layout plan twin size bed right here along that tape line up to there this space right here will be open all the way down that will leave about 11 inches of open space here that you can access. Uh, porta potty, it'll just um, open up the front and that can, that can come out. Sit on the edge of the bed, put my feet here. So countertop space that will end will go straight down here. Storage cabinets for stuff. Uh, a sink and a faucet with a five gallon water jug that will have a 12 volt faucet that just hooks up on top, pumps the water out of it. So next to it will be just some extra counter space. And if you turn, I'll be able to put my feet here like this. Comes right there, it'll be a little workstation. I'll probably put uh, a, uh, a 12 volt refrigerator there. Some kind of storage cabinet above that. And then this corner will be all the battery stuff and right there by the wheel well. So then I'll, I'll block off these windows with uh, carpet covered panels. They replace the roof all the way down. So the flooring I've put in in the van is a little bit different from any other van that I've seen on YouTube. I'm sure there's other people that had the same idea, but I wanted to share my creative solution for some insulation on the floor. Um, all I see is a lot of thick, rigid foam that's put down beneath the plywood subfloor, and that just makes you lose that, that one inch of headroom and sure it'll work to provide some soundproofing. It doesn't insulate as well as people think. So you might as well get something thin that's waterproof. So I used a roll of Reflectix, just picked up one big roll and I used some on the floor. It's super easy to lay down, a little spray adhesive and it's stuck. And then the plywood right on top. That way you also don't have to use very long screws to screw it on the flooring. So I picked up a uh, you know, inch and a half self-tapping screws and drilled those in through the plywood and this is how it turned out.
flooring is in. So done with the, with the laminate flooring. It's very easy, tongue groove joints, they just clip together. I don't use adhesive on the bottom of the floor except for around the edges. I put a little spray adhesive and some pin nails in just to keep the edges down. That way nothing ever lifts them up or you have any issues in the future. Not necessary, but I like a little bit of extra. All right, and as you can see, I've been making a little bit of progress. I've got a bit of the bed frame in. So the, check out the next video, which is putting together the bed frame. So I've decided to put a bed lengthwise through the van that is a twin size bed, allowing me access to the back of the van. I'm doing that because frankly, I don't think it's a great idea to close off the entire back of your van. You just basically lose your back doors to access to the van. So check it out. Keep watching my videos, stay tuned and I'll keep you updated on the progress on this ultimate stealth van build. Thanks for watching.